The reality favorite has chosen to release images that show some of the injuries she obtained the night she was assaulted in 2014 The reality star, 36, has bravely chosen to release images that show just some of the injuries she obtained the night she was assaulted in 2014, shortly before she appeared in a now infamous series of I'm a Celebrity but struggled to cope. In an exclusive interview with The Sun's Bizarre column Gemma has described the night that a former lover beat her in a jealous rage and how she was left so traumatized that she was forced to quit the jungle. And the Toei favorite hopes the pictures of her bloody head and cut hands will encourage other victims of domestic violence to go to the police as she desperately regrets not pressing charges after being too scared to see it through. She said, I was really badly beaten. I was powerless. I should have pressed charges, but I was in love with that person. I was in shock and had a taxi outside my house waiting to take me to the airport. He started beating me up and kicking me constantly on the floor repeatedly in the bottom of my spine, which he knows I had a fractured coccyx. When he beat me enough to get me down on the floor then he didn't stop there. He locked me in my flat, he then repeatedly kicked me, kicked me, kicked me, then for some reason he got disrupted and he walked into the bedroom and started smashing up the place in there. I managed to find the last bit of strength in me and I flipped the bolt open on the door and crawled down the stairs, blood dripping down my face, and if it wasn't for the neighbor at the bottom of the stairs, he called the police. I can't tell you what I said to them, it was just a blur. I dropped all the charges because I was too scared to see it through. I wish to this day that I saw it through. The alleged incident took place in 2014 before Gemma was due to fly to Australia for her appearance on I'm a Celebrity. But she ended up feeling haunted by the traumatic experience and the terrible mind games that she felt from her former partner, causing her to walk away from the show. She explains, I just had to forget it all and head to Australia. But when I was there, he was so mentally abusive that he was calling my phone and I told him to stop and I blocked his number and then I was having meetings with execs and was trying to prepare for the jungle. I had to do it, but unfortunately when I got in there, I could not get it off my brain and as the days went on I was in so much pain. I'm gutted that everyone thought I was a quitter and hungry, but that's not the truth. Viewers thought Gemma had given up on the challenge of being in the jungle because she was hungry and the star has felt embarrassed for years over fans not knowing the truth. Three years later, and Gemma finally believes she is strong enough to go back and hopes she can show those who doubted her that she can come back fighting. She said, I do want to return to the jungle and prove what I could do. It was a terrible thing that happened. I go out on dates with new people, but even if they move their arm too quick I jump because it never leaves your mind. I would consider myself a very strong person, but even I wasn't strong enough to switch off to it.
If I was to go back I wouldn't have that first dread of going back. He is out of my life this time, don't worry about that. Gemma admits that she has been in contact with her ex since the incident took place and says she was even able to ask him why he used violence against her. Her former partner denies any allegations that he assaulted her in 2014. She explains how their toxic relationship left her believing that he was the man she wanted to marry and have children with. She said, the man I was in love with and was going to marry and have a baby with, all of a sudden he had beaten me and my entire house was smashed up. The mental and psychological side. I was still in love with this person, but I knew what he did to me was really wrong. How do you press charges against someone that you love? He was still on license, and I didn't want to be responsible for sending him back down, and it was a very difficult situation, but actually all I ended up doing is hurting myself more to save him. Thankfully, Gemma has been able to move on with her life and any contact she previously had with her ex-lover has stopped. In one final message, she says, I want to speak out and say if any man lays a finger on you, you have to walk away. If they do it once then they will do it again. I have never actually escaped.